Greetings, Tom Armstrong here. This current video is intended to give a very quick overview of two mathematical modeling tools for use in exposure assessments. These are both from the American Industrial Hygiene Association's Exposure Assessment Strategies Committee. I've been a part of their development for quite a few years. Note that during this presentation you can stop the playback at any time to think about the slide more or reverse or fast forward. We're going to be going through these slides very quickly. Toward the end of the slideshow I will point you toward more in-depth coverage of these tools such as on my website www.twa8hr.com special interest links. To learn to use these tools, we suggest these references. You can also take a short course such as an AIHA professional development course or review one of the longer slide sets that I will discuss later. During this introduction, we will cover IHMOD, which is a spreadsheet suite of mathematical models, and IH SkinPerm also a Microsoft Excel based tool used to estimate dermal uptake following dermal deposition of a chemical. Let's start with the IHMOD review. If you choose to use IHMOD you should review the README file associated with it on the Exposure Assessment Strategies uh, web page. Link to that shown later. Now let's take a quick look at what is in IHMOD. The model contains 12 of the models covered in the text Mathematical Models for Estimating Exposure. IHMOD has brief help built into each of the models, but the book shown here is the key resource. These are the models currently in IHMOD and I will not read through these all. You can pause and take a quicker look if you wish. More may be added at a later date, but these are what's there now. The model draft selection guide is in development. And thanks to Susan Arnold and Gurmirthi Ramachandran, University of Minnesota, for this great approach. There are multiple model parameters, but each set of models has a set of required and some optional input parameters. These parameters describe the situation to be modeled. Some are general, but some are model specific. Check the book or the model specific help in IEH mod for more details. These are the conventions, V, room volume, Q, room air supply, exhaust ventilation rate, alpha and evaporation rate constant, CSAT, a saturation vapor concentration, M0, an initial mass contaminant emitted as a puffer bolus, D sub D is a turbulent diffusion coefficient, U is an advective air velocity, beta is the air exchange rate between zone 1 and zone 2 in the two zone model. This is the first screen in IHMOD spreadsheet after macros are enabled. The visual boat basic program is set to require a visit to the disclaimer disclaimer on each modeling session. You may need to enable macros on your machine to get this far and you will need administrative rights to your computer to do so. The callouts in this page show a few of the important controls and features in IHMOD. For example, to the general help screen which we will see next, this is to visit the disclaimer. Um, This is to give you some help on enabling macros. This control scrolls to the model that you choose to run. This is the user input and general help screen that you would be getting to using the 
the green question mark on the opening screen. Note there's information fields here to record the description of the scenario you're modeling, a discussion of the uh, general model parameters, and some more information below here that you can scroll to, but we'll look at that in the next slide. IHMOD has navigation controls built into it. A forward to the model, uh, a back to the model, a to help, a go home, which is to the home screen, a choice of printing either the whole page or just graphical output from the model. Here, printing a page or graph to the help sheet and for the specific model, and this is to clear the input data. This is the user screen and general help bottom part. Again, a number of callouts explaining what is what in the layout of the model and the model inputs and the graphs. One of the features of IHMOD is use of data sliders. The green cells are by convention always unprotected and this is where input parameters specified by you the user will go. Then these are used to scroll to lower values uh, than what you entered in order to do a crude sensitivity check of the model on each of the parameters. If you scroll down these will turn yellow to indicate that you're less than one at, at 100 percent of the input values. The README file gives some general background and an explanation of using IHMOD including with Monte Carlo simulation software. Here's an example screen. This is of the well-mixed room model. You'll notice this is to help for the specific models. By convention, any of the parameters in red are mandatory. You must have values for them for the model to run. Uh, the black arguments are optional, meaning if you have them and wish to use them, you may, but not necessarily required. In all modeling, the correct units of measure and consistency important, is important. Here is a conversion calculator built into each of the IH mod uh, tabs and model pages. The data uh, table and user calculation section is below the graph with a block of unprotected green cells to do cut and paste and further calculations if you wish. The one mixed room help contents and uh, back to the model navigation are shown on this page. Here is the, to get back to the model in use, a description of the aims, the assumptions, uh, the parameters, and some other comments. Again, here is a well mixed room model with user inputs in the green cells, the sliders to change parameter values an option to calculate C at time T, um, results in milligram per cubic meter. You'll need to convert if you need PPM. The graph, you can choose to display the time weighted average from T0 to T sub X. In the red line, the blue line is the time varying concentration curve. One of the other aspects worth mentioning is you can set the maximum time for a simulation which may be a task duration, a stell, or a full shift. You can also specify the time uh, at the end of the generation of the contaminant, which at this point was set at around three minutes, and that point the equation changes to follow the purge of the contaminant from the room. That's all at this brief tutorial for IHMOD. Let's now move forward and take a look at part two of this, an overview of the IH skin perm model. What is an IH skin perm? Well, it's an enhanced Excel spreadsheet useful in estimating dermal permeation of chemicals and relative fate to air or skin or systemic circulation. It's based on equations in the public domain and public literature. It's based on Will Tenberg's earlier skin perm model. It was in fact developed in conjunction with Will, Daniel Drolet, and Rosie 
Rosalie Tobaldi, with contributions by other members of the AIHA Exposure Assessment Strategies Committee and the Dermal Subteam. This is important to note that the README file, the IH Skin Perm Manual, is an important adjunct in the use of IH Skin Perm. It will also give you the citations to the main literature if you wish to go further and understand more, which I encourage you to do. Note to get navigation tools are much like those in IH Skin Perm, I mean in IH Mod. There's also a disclaimer in this model. This is the disclaimer. The lead personnel, again, were Will Tenberg, Daniel Drolet, and Rosalie Tabaldi. Jen Sommel, Mike J. Jock, and yours truly made some contributions, as did others in the Exposure Assessment Strategies Committee. This is the data entry screen. Note the database from Skin Perm has a list of common chemicals with the parameters such as molecular weight, vapor pressure, log octanol water partition coefficient. Users can add chemicals of their own interest with the needed parameters added in when the chemical is added to the user's portion of the database. The user can specify instantaneous or deposition over time. The relevant cells for data entry then become available. This is the results graph for anahexane uh, that was shown in the prior slide for the scenarios shown on the prior slide. Note for this volatile hydrocarbon the model predicts most of it will evaporate before absorption through the skin. If you look similarly at a different chemical such as benzyl alcohol the fate by pathway will be different. This is an illustration of IH skin perm that illustrates that penetration is complex. The models can assist in estimating the dose, which may be systemically available and circulated. For volatile materials, the program estimates evaporation along with absorption. And it is important with all models that the user become familiar with the underlying principles and limitations. There are more resources available via American Industrial Hygiene Association PDCs often offered at the American Industrial Hygiene Conference and Exhibition. The Exposure Assessment Strategies Committee, the Bayesian Statistics, Professional Judgment, Dermal Exposure Assessment, Using Mathematical Models to Estimate Exposure, and Use of Monte Carlo uh, Simulation Techniques in Exposure and Risk Assessment. You can follow the URL shown to get to the Exposure Assessment Strategies Committee webpage on the AIHA website, and this is where you will find links to download copies of the tools we just discussed. Another option if you learn to wish more about the use of these tools is to navigate to my website where you will get free longer presentations as PDFs on modeling an IH mod, on general dermal exposure assessment, including the use of IH skin perm. Thank you. I hope this has been a useful tutorial. Goodbye.